the preterm birth actually is not mother is not much at risk if there is no disease behind disease or any complication because behind the pregnancy like diabetes hypertension or it's isomerization pi your i uh, artificial pregnancy in insemination or etc ipf and these these things can add to the risk sometimes patient is at risk only because of the disease concern preterm delivery as such does not poses any extra risk to the mother and the warning signs is mostly with the um, uh, discharge around or if you see if you see any complication in pregnancy have uh, like uh, high blood pressure high blood sugar and uh, growth factor restriction etc they are basically warning signs because that can lead to preterm delivery and how to manage preterm labor is so you have to anticipate anticipate history of preterm labor in early pregnancy history of preterm labor will make you more alert to prevent the preterm labor in the current pregnancy multiple pregnancies if there there are multiple pregnancy or if there is any sonography finding like short cervix like funneling of cervix like any uh, signal that give you a hint of preterm labor you have to be extra, extra cautious you know extra cautious in the sense it has to be seriously seen this uh, a shortening of cervix has to be seriously managed you have to see the manage the length of the cervix again after certain interval say 2 to 3 weeks and that to preferably transvaginally preferably transvaginally and because the trans abdominal might might give you a wrong finding the trans abdominal shortening of cervix with funneling or inverted y these things are to be taken very seriously is mm, it in the sense the patient has been put to should, put should be put to rest and cervical suture is a is a well timed and well cut suture the cervix has started shortening and the labor has already started the cervical suture is not going to help you much because because if you if you want to give cervical cervical suture give it a little early because at times it might seem it seems that it is not needed but when it is needed and given too late it is of no use so management of preterm labor is basically to one basically is rest and uh, suture and you have to uh, keep a good nic around in spite of all these two you might have a preterm delivery before much before 37 weeks say 33 34 a good preterm labor a good uh, nic you can handle the baby of about 150 100 grams very easily so a good nic around is very helpful and when if you consider preterm labor around you have to give antenatal steroid Steroid at the at the uh, right time with a gap of 24 hours, preferably within seven days of delivery, is going to increase the survival rate. And complication of preterm labor, preterm birth is mostly the baby. Mostly the baby in this is a small small baby, small problem, uh, more problem. Smaller the problem, you have to see the weight of the baby at birth. The baby of the birth is less, less than one kg. You can say you can say you have to you have to be more cautious and more good. You have to. you have to have a good pediatric unit around so actually the improvement of preterm birth into improvement outcome of preterm birth today is mostly due to good nic good anticipation good sonography and apprehension and over time intervention this will improve the preterm birth result okay thank you